When you think of the Oregon coast, a certain picture likely comes to mind. Perhaps a memory of a childhood trip or that tasty Dungeness crab you caught. Well, hold on to those memories tight, because according to scientists, that's all about to change. We realize that uh, there is no option. The, the, some places, some uh, parts of the oceans are going extinct. Oregon State have, University no, like, researcher like, James Watson like, and former OSU uh, researcher Stephen Johnson analyzed 50 years of ocean data and numerous climate models to see how ocean conditions will change as the climate warms. They found they will change dramatically despite efforts to curb climate change. Given all of the um, uh, commitments countries have made, we're still looking at nearly half the ocean being different from the ocean we know uh, of the last 50 years. The scientists found that 60 to 87 percent of the ocean is expected to experience multiple biological and chemical changes such as increases in water temperature, higher levels of acidity, and changes in oxygen levels by the year 2060. And the rate of change is expected to be even greater in designated marine protected areas. In other words, efforts to protect sea life in those protected areas won't be enough. They say two scenarios will likely play out. Organisms, species, the species that we fish, the species that we might uh, like love, uh, say like they they are they can adapt in two ways. They can either move or they can evolve. And new species will move in. Um, and squid is typically caught down in California and down in, in Mexico too. But now it's being caught more and more up uh, at higher latitudes, so uh, up in Oregon now. Okay, so we're seeing species shift um, in response to warming conditions. Those changes will also have cultural and economic impacts on those whose livelihoods depend on ocean resources. But the researchers say it's not all just doom and gloom. Knowing there will be changes will help us better adapt to something we cannot avoid. Mitigation is a bit in the rear view window, right? That there's going to be some type of climate change happening. Um, is it going to be bad, worse, or, ter or the worst, you know, like along that spectrum? And I think uh, the way we mitigate that is by acting on the knowledge that we do have. Yeah, in other words, knowing what will happen off our coast in the future will help us all better prepare for it. Like, say, get up to speed on our squid fishing.